a deception in the clear. You might think that, wow, what is that? Why do I have to do that? Well, the deceptive clear can be a great weapon to get your opponent out of balance, and especially in the mixed doubles. Behind the girl, that is a great weapon to add. So let's go through those details about how you hit a deceptive clear. So how do we do it? How do we add that deception in your clear? First off, let me mention that all the basic rules, all the basic techniques about the overhead shot is applied here. The side to the net, the body rotation, the forehand grip, form rotation, all of these things we have talked about many times on this channel. You have to use that. But of course you have to make your opponents think you're doing a different types of shot. And that could be two different things. The first one is to make it look like you're doing a drop shot. So a very, very uh, relaxed, smooth shot to the net. And just before you add that very relaxed swing, you push to the shuttle, you tighten up your fingers, tighten up your arm, add power to the shot and do the clear. That is a deceptive clear and it will be very tricky to see what's going on if you're doing that correctly. So first off, the drop version where you make it look like a drop, that would look something like this. So you go down, you get your lift to the baseline, you go down very relaxed in your body, showing your opponent, well, I'm not doing anything clever about this one. I'm just doing a normal drop shot. So you go up, very relaxed, up to the shuttle. And just before you do that drop, like I said, you hit a lot of power. Use your, your forearm, use your wrist and use your fingers. Something like this. Go up, very relaxed, and then you push it just in the end with a small explosive movement. And the other version where you want to make it look like you're doing a power smash. Now you need to tighten up everything. Make it look like a power smash. Go down. Use all your power swinging forward towards the shuttle. Just before you hit that power smash, you stop your movement. And then you do the explosive movement once again. It's very tricky to master. It's really important that you stop your smash movement, relax a little bit, and then tighten up again to do the clear. So in this uh, smash clear deception, there is actually two deceptions if you think about it, because when I start my smash movement, I stop that movement, making it look like maybe a deceptive drop shot. Instead of doing that drop shot, I do the clear. So a little bit of a double deception, you can say in, in, uh, in this shot. If you can master that, it's, uh, it's, re it's a really, really great shot. And uh, hopefully it will work to fool your opponent to make them lose balance just a little bit. Yes, that was it, guys. That was two different uh, types of uh, deceptive clears. I hope that you can uh, see my point and uh, train it a lot your own. See what works for you. Can you make it happen? Can you make some points on this? Can you make them lose balance? All these small things. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, just want to say thank you once again for seeing this video, following us our channel, and uh, we will do many, many more videos. So we will see you again very soon. Bye.